some really nice weather for the afternoon compared to what we had this morning. And boy, did we have some stuff this morning. An absolute mess in terms of uh, temperature. It was in the 20s. Now we're looking at very comfortable air sitting in the 50s, and that is considerably warmer than what we were dealing with last night. So let's start there. 53 Chattanooga, 53 in Cleveland, 58 in Blue Ridge and 54 degrees in Murphy, North Carolina. Look at the winds blowing out of the north northwest, seven miles per hour. So after that bitter start, not too bad shaping up. We're eight degrees warmer in Chattanooga than we were 24 hours ago. Remember, we didn't get out of the 40s yesterday. Nine degrees warmer in Cleveland, 11 degrees warmer in Dalton, 16 degrees warmer in Murphy. Well, this is the story. Take a look at our radar and satellite. Got this low pressure lifting up from the southwest. This is going to do two things to us, rain and wind. Those are going to be the big issues for us starting overnight tonight, lasting through early tomorrow morning, and then we might see the rain tapering off a bit, but that wind is going to stay very gusty as we move through the day on Tuesday. A wind advisory in effect from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for all of our area for your Wednesday. So a few showers maybe as early as 10, 11 o'clock tonight. The bulk of that heavy rain, though, is going to be moving through during the overnight. This is about 1.30 in the morning. Heavy rain, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder, but mainly heavy rain lifting up. It will continue until about 5 o'clock, moving through the plateau, through Chattanooga. And again, from 1 to 5, really heavy rain moving through. That's where we're going to get the bulk of it. But then notice, 6, 6.30, the bulk of that heavy rain is over the Blue Ridge Mountains from Calhoun, LJ, Blue Ridge up into Murphy, and we're not seeing much in the valley. But notice as that front continues to move eastward on the back side up through about noon, we may still see some spotty showers popping up here and there. And then as we move through the afternoon, we'll see any chances for rain really diminishing. But notice still some clouds, still some cooler air working its way in. We will be colder on Thursday. Most of these rain bands are going to stay to our north. We may see a few flurries in some of the higher elevations on Thursday morning. I think temperatures will be in the upper 20s to low to mid 30s on Thursday morning. So not going to see any kind of accumulation, I don't think, but we may see a few flurries here and there. Thursday afternoon, just cold and dry as we see our temperatures returning to the 40s. For Friday, Partly cloudy skies, no big deal there. Take a look Thursday once again at our snowfall forecast. Again, not seeing much. Get above 2,500 feet, and you're looking at maybe a half an inch of snow up toward the Blue Ridge and beyond. And then just a few flurries. I don't expect much. Maybe on some grassy surfaces, you get a little bit laying down, but it's not going to be that exciting. Rain, that's going to be the main deal besides the wind. We're looking at anywhere from three quarters of an inch up to an inch plus of rainfall. And again, most of that's going to fall in a pretty short period of time overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So taking a look at Saturday, not much going on either. Then Sunday, we have our next chance for rain. So for tonight, rain overnight. The winds will be increasing. Winds out of the east southeast 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, look, notice it's a little more mild, upper 30s and low 40s. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, that wind advisory in effect, heavy rain in the morning and then spotty showers into the early afternoon. Winds out of the west southwest 15 to 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts could exceed 40 miles per hour. And just a quick look at our storm alert seven day forecast. That's going to show you that windy weather and rainy weather into tomorrow. And then maybe a few flurries in the mountains on Thursday, dry and cold Friday into Saturday, and then another chance for some rain showers on Sunday, guys. Be careful tonight and tomorrow.